Here's something you almost never hear about an incumbent. Over 50 percent of his own party wants someone in the race other than Biden. Well, their wishes come true. Little known Democratic congressman from Minnesota, Dean Phillips, is in the race. Does he have a shot? Let's talk to him about it right now. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Chris, great to be with you. So the Democrats say to you all the time, I'm sure, you're making us lose. You're making Biden look weak. What kind of team player are you, punk? What do you say? Well, I wish I had that power to make this president look that weak. Uh, I don't think Dean Phillips has anything to do with the fact that President Biden is losing nationwide. He's down in five of six of the battleground states. His approval ratings are now at historical lows and is going to lose to President Trump. I don't think I did that. In fact, I did just the opposite. Try to help him, uh, voted for his policies, was a member of House Democratic leadership and tried to market those policies. I think he's a good man. I respect the president. But what I care about more deeply, and unlike Mr. Manchin, I do have a burning desire to win this race and deny President Trump a return to the White House because all the other Democrats waiting until 2028 for their own professional interests uh, will not see an election in 2028 that will look anything like elections that we've had for about 240 years here in the United States. This is the time to meet the moment. This is now. And it's time for a new generation. It's that simple. Most people do not want either Trump or Biden. And I believe in America, people deserve choices. You want the job. Why are you up to the job? Well, I would be a candidate with the most broad experience probably in recent memory. I've run businesses. I've chaired the board of a health system. I was a regent at a university. Uh, I've run a philanthropy. And now I've served three terms in the U.S. Congress. And I think when our founders uh, designed our system of governments, they wanted people that had broad life experience. And I think we've had too many presidents lately uh, who have very little experience beyond public service. President Biden has served as a senator since I was three years old, Chris, three years old. He has done nothing other than public service, which I admire. Uh, but the, I'll tell you, what we are addressing in the future, wars overseas, AI about to fundamentally change our economy and the whole world, I don't think we have people in the right demographic generationally uh, that can prepare for the changes that are about to come, bring peace to the world, and prepare this country uh, for what I think will be a bright future. Uh, but that's not going to happen with this generation continuing to stand in the way. And all I'm doing is listening to the numbers, listening to people. 75 percent of the country wants change. Most Democrats do, too. And if you look at the poll from New Hampshire, I'm already at 15 percent in two weeks. President Biden is at 27 percent. 73 percent of New Hampshire voters want someone different. And I'm just getting to know them right now. I'm going to win New Hampshire, going to go to Michigan, win there, and then it's a game on. I believe you, uh, because the numbers reflect what you're saying about people wanting another choice, which is weird, especially in party. Mm -hmm. But New Hampshire is not the best metric for me because Biden's not going to be on the ballot there. So, uh, you know, there's there's a little bit of a reason for them to run away from him. He's not a, le a legit choice. Let me deal with two perceptions of you sure. uh, for the audience, because, you know, they're, they're getting introduced to you. And, you know, you, you have a platform here. News Nation is very committed uh, to making the conversation broad. First one is, uh, we have a Congress now where they're literally challenging each other to fistfights. And uh, if you don't understand how to be in that world and not be consumed by it, you will be consumed by it. Why should people believe that you are tough enough to be president of the United States in the current climate, where literally one of your colleagues may punch you in the face? Well, let me tell you, uh, all the names you know better than me right now, they knew, what, they knew the problem. They knew the consequence of uh, of Joe Biden taking on Donald Trump. They know he's going to lose. And what are they doing? They're doing what uh, Senator Manchin just did with you two moments ago, heeing and hawing and dancing around. We have a governor from California who's traveling the world, running a shadow campaign. I called two of the candidates whose names you know. Not only would they not speak to me, they had their political operatives tell me, please don't use our names. That's the culture of spinelessness, uh, of people protecting their professional careers rather than the principles mm. that make this country so remarkable. And look at there's a reason I'm the number two most bipartisan member of Congress, according to the Common Ground Committee, because I know how to navigate this. I call my Republican buddies my dear friends. Do I agree with them all the time? A lot of time I don't at all. But if we want to get this country back on track, literally repair, by the way, Chris, I will have a bipartisan cabinet. I think the last people, the last president to really do what I want to do was Abraham Lincoln with his team of rivals. If Americans don't think they have a voice in the White House, uh, they're going to do exactly what's happening now. They pull back. They're in despair. They're angry. Do we, are we surprised that we have Trumpism? 
when people don't feel heard? Of course not. I'm going to have a youth cabinet because young people feel completely disconnected from their White House, from their government. And let me tell you, after almost three terms in Congress, do I understand how people continue to be insulated and care a lot more about what happens inside the Washington Beltway than in the country? Of course. That's why President Biden, after 50 years, Chris, of doing this, leading to the very problems that we have now in our country and abroad, is exactly why we need change, not just here in the Middle East, in Europe and all around the world. It's time for a new generation of competency, of decency, and to bring us to a bright future. I'm actually optimistic and quite joyful about what's to come. You know what, uh, Congressman Phillips, we will continue uh, this conversation. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.